Are you trying to sell a product or are you planning on launching a product on Amazon and you're concerned about not having any reviews on the product? I know when you buy a product on Amazon, when I buy a product on Amazon, I'm looking at reviews as one of the primary uh, reasons why I'm buying a product. The quantity of reviews, is it four to five stars, things like that. And you're gonna need those to increase conversion as well as several other factors to give your product a shot at success on Amazon. Launching a product on Amazon is pretty tough nowadays, as you know, or as you will start to experience. And having reviews is just another tool in your tool belt to increase conversion. So one thing about me is I've launched products on Amazon. I sell on Amazon as well as other marketplaces. I've launched several products for clients and for myself, for my own business and I also do some mentoring and coaching for other Amazon sellers who don't need a lot of detailed work that I do for my other product launch clients. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to ChatGPT to ask why, why is it important to have reviews? And the AI will tell us, will lead us to the promised land of high conversion rate. So, as you can see on my screen, it says, I asked ChatGPT, how or why do I need reviews? And then what is it about the Vine program? Should I use it to get reviews? Amazon's Vine program is a program that will allow you to get up to 30 reviews on your product, kind of like a jumpstart, like rocket fuel to get your product launched, okay? Now we're gonna go into the aspects of the Vine program and I'm gonna set up one live on one of my new account my new products that I'm launching. So I'm gonna get into that soon. But what does ChatGPT say here? It says it builds trust. Reviews from customers act as social proof. Of course, you can read the rest on the screen. Increases conversion rates. And that's key, guys. When you are advertising products, if your conversion rate is low because you have zero reviews, that's gonna cost you a ton of money. And we're gonna factor that in later when we talk about the cost of Vine because you're gonna have to have a cost benefit analysis between trust Trying to launch a product with zero reviews and paying for the Vine program, you know, cost benefit there. Improved search ranking. Apparently, uh, ChatGPT is telling me that if I have high reviews, Amazon will give my product higher search. Okay. Addresses concerns of customers, and that's true. You know, customers are concerned about your product and its features. And what's beautiful about the Vine program is most of the reviewers will leave a very, very detailed review of your product. And that's gonna help with conversion because, especially if it's a good product, that when the customers go to look at your product and the ones that are very detail-oriented, they're gonna read the reviews. And then they're gonna determine from those reviews if they know enough about your product to make the purchase. Okay, and it enhances brand credibility. And as you know, when you're on Google Maps looking for a business, if you're looking for a restaurant on Google or on Yelp or whatever else you use, are you gonna go to a restaurant with three stars or no star reviews? Probably not. If you're looking for a Chinese restaurant or a sushi restaurant, certainly a sushi restaurant, if there was two and a half stars, you probably are not going there. Probably wouldn't wanna have raw fish that was rated two and a half stars, right? probably make you sick so you're looking for the reviews even when you're looking at restaurants it gives the restaurant its own credibility and you need to build your brand credibility right so why should we use Amazon Vine okay and I asked ChatGPT that and it gave me the answers early momentum right so higher conversion having reviews on your product when people see it, either you're advertising or it's just showing up in natural search, they're gonna see reviews instead of nada, nothing, right? So early momentum. Trusted reviews. The Vine program is well trusted. These people are leaving positive and negative reviews often, and that's where we'll, we'll get into talking about that. And then increases your product credibility. So all this stuff makes sense. It's rather obvious. So let's go to the my Amazon account. So here's my Amazon account on screen. And I have used reviews to launch uh, some of these products that I have up here. This product, Zahira, now has 498 reviews, but I launched this into zero reviews. Uh, the brand wasn't known in the United States, 
and we quickly got around 20 to 30 reviews on the product within a month and the product went from selling one a month to selling hundreds a day. It's an amazing product, high quality product. So the reviews are gonna, you know, we're gonna get into the Vine program, all right? So I'm gonna talk about this, but in, in line with that, super high quality olive oil and 498 reviews now, and it's a 4.8 rating. So it's a great, amazing product, and the Vine program helped get that product surface and get it kick-started, get the momentum going, okay? Here's a gift box that I launched. It has only 43 reviews, but it's 4.7 stars, and the Vine program kick-started about 25 of those reviews. So this gift box has been for sale for over two years, and it only has 43 reviews, and we're gonna talk about that right now. When you're launching a gift box on Amazon, reviews are gonna be really important. The problem, though, is to get reviews is nearly impossible unless it's an ultra-high volume gift box that actually people buy for themselves. Because, because when people buy a gift box, they give it to somebody else and that other person who receives it experiences it and they're likely don't even know where the person bought it from. So when the person who purchased it is not experiencing the product, the likelihood that they're gonna go to Amazon and review it is almost nothing for a gift box in my experience. So this is where the Vine program is extremely important, not just for your, uh, your brand credibility and your product launch strategy, but if you're doing a gift box, it's actually super important to get that base 20 to 30 reviews right away to, to have a nice foundation for your product for the long term. So in case you just had that one random one star review, it's not gonna kill your product. All right, so that's that. And this is the product that I am launching uh, shortly. It's actually for sale now, and it's a non-alcoholic wine. Zero reviews on that product. So I need reviews because although the product's converting, I'm selling a few units a day right now, I wanna sell a lot, especially going into the holiday season. This is in a gift box, so it's giftable, and I need credibility for this product. Now the product, I really, I actually love the product. It's actually a high quality product. So I think the Vine reviews are gonna be decent for this product. And we're gonna get into the risk, but here we go. I'm gonna go to the Amazon account. I'm gonna show you how to set this up, okay? So to go to set up Vine, you just need to find the Vine program in Seller Central. You click on that, it explains the Vine program. It talks about it talks about all the details, definitely read that, but it says get trusted reviews on your products, okay? Um, help drive traffic and improve conversion, okay? And better understand your customers. And this is absolutely correct. All right, so let's get started. Click on that. And then we're gonna get the ASIN from my product. Copy and paste it, put it in here. Begin enrollment. And I can do up to 30 units, and that's gonna cost me a fee to Amazon of $200, plus I'm gonna give away 30 units. I'm selling this for uh, $26 approximately. So 30 times 26, 260 times three, that's 600, $780 of product, plus $200, plus there's some other fees associated with the program, probably shipping fees to the customer. Uh, I'd have to actually get into that and see what that's gonna cost for this product. But I'm gonna spend about $1,000 to get the reviews to ignite this product so i'm going to type in 30. now you can go for one or two and pay nothing uh, you can go for three to ten and pay up to 75 dollars but here's the deal guys if you if you go one to two and one of them is a one star you're best looking to come out of this program at two and a half if the other one's five star so you have a high risk of, of having an issue there same with up to 10 units if two of those are one stars just because the person didn't even understand your product, then you're, ha you're gonna have issues with just 10. So I, uh, I often just go for the full 30. Sometimes I'll do 20. Uh, if it's a product I just wanted to get a base of like 12 to 14 reviews on. Now let's talk about the Vine program. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna enroll this, click on that. I'm gonna just go back and make sure it's 30. 
it's the right product. I don't want to make a mistake here. And I'm doing this live right now. So let's enroll this. All right, I'm enrolled and it's suggesting other products, but it's enrolled. I have 111 units available. I have more in transit to take going to Amazon, but I have 111 units out there and I'll wait for them to get claimed. So let's talk about this program. What are some of the issues that you can have with Vine? Because you could read some negative, negative issues that people are going to talk about how, oh my God, the Vine reviewers are so picky, blah, blah, blah. And they always leave one stars. Well, here's the deal. One or two people out of the 30 probably will leave a two star rating or one and it's because they don't understand the product. Unfortunately with the Vine program, I can't target the, the demographic. Uh, I'm essentially just relying on Amazon to do its work to target and I don't really understand if Amazon is really targeting these products to the right people or if they're just blasting it to a bunch of people and hoping that they agree to it. But uh, that is a risk. So I, I had an experience with a couple of products where at the end of the day, I was sitting with like a 3.2 uh, rating and you know, the product was kind of DOA, right? Dead on arrival with that. People just didn't understand the, the product. So uh, you know, that is a risk, but this also can give you an idea. Maybe your product really isn't that great. Maybe it doesn't appeal to enough people. And if you're coming in with poor reviews on Vine, this is going to give you the idea of, of what's going on with the product. If there's a lot of negative reviews, maybe there's a problem with your actual product. And if you read the reviews and take them in uh, in a neutral way, like trying to understand the customer, uh, you might actually learn a lot about your product and just cut the losses and redesign and come out with the next version and cut and, and take it as a learning experience. In fact, that's what I had to do. There were a couple food products that were, in my opinion, they were pretty good. But when it came to the, at the end of the day, when, when I launched that product, uh, it wasn't that good. You know, the Vine reviews, you know, they maybe were like 3.2 on average. And some of the comments were, you know, it was like a ready to eat pasta with sauce. And some of the comments were like, this sauce is horrible or this pasta is uh, too al dente or something. So there were a lot of problems with the product and I actually just pulled the plug on that product, you know, because it was just one of those things. Uh, the product expired out. Um, I lost money both on the launch and the inventory that expired out. Uh, but those are the things you go through when you're launching a product. You're gonna either have great success, middling success, or a complete failure. So uh, hopefully you have more successes than failures so you can stay in the game. So the drawback of the Vina, honestly, from what I see is just the target market of your product may be narrow. And if you're, if you're blasting it out to too many people too wide and they can't understand it, maybe your documentation's not good enough. And there's another point you could have some issues all right with the vine but this is a building block to your product launch so when you launch a product and you get it to amazon uh, you're going to want to think of amazon ads and vine to get reviews now there are other ways to get the reviews but vine is like the most um respectable like not going to get your amazon account shut down uh, sometimes there's other review services but they're against the terms of service of amazon you need to make sure you do your research because some of these services will violate the rules and if you get caught your account could get shut down and i wouldn't want to see that so again back to product launch you're going to need budget for your amazon advertising once you get about 12 reviews from the Vine program, ignite the advertising, let it rip, you know, start getting aggressive and, and advertising. Between the zero and 12 reviews that you're gonna get from Vine, maybe hold off and do some surface level advertising, some auto campaigns, okay? And then once, once the momentum starts coming in, start scaling those ads and really, if you have the inventory and you have the cash, scale it up. All right. So I hope this uh, this video was helpful for you in understanding the Vine program. Remember, there are drawbacks, but there's also significant, significant positives. And it is relatively low cost, I think, especially in the grand scheme of things. Look at if you're looking to grow a brand that sells 
50,000 a month or 100,000 a month or a million dollars a month, a small fee for the vine is in the grand scheme of things not going to be such a big deal, right? And it's going to expedite expedite the launch of your product so guys again thank you for joining me if you have any questions leave a comment below there's also a link to my website in the description if you wanted to take a look at that i have a blog going there as well as you can book me for a call if you're interested in giving uh, having a conversation with me so thanks again i will see you guys next time